So I'm here in front of the Sai Kenji Temple in Hamamatsu. Um, I recently introduced the complete works of Shunmyo Masuno in a blog post and when I found out that he had created a garden in Hamamatsu, I knew that I have to visit on my next trip there. So here you can see it. It's a very small garden along the approach, the Sanmon, towards the temple. So after entering the first gate, you can see two gardens right and left of the approach designed by him. So it's quite typical for him to use moss and the small elevated hills with rocks. What I find interesting is that in the book they talked about um, a pine tree and a plum tree in front of the main gate. You can see the plum tree here. And yeah, actually the other tree <laughs> on the other side is not a pine tree. You will see it later again. This is also very nice, the maple tree on the left side going through the fence. So here you have it. It's called Maki in Japanese. It's the same tree that is used for the um, fence, um, the hedge to the left and to the right. Here the plum tree, that's for sure. I do not know if they uh, transplanted it later, if there had been a pine tree before or if they mistaken it with another pine tree on the grounds. So here when you enter it, you will reach a, another small garden part. It's very nice that you are crossing something like a forest before you reach the temple buildings. I like it very much that you have this corridor of trees. To the left is a bamboo forest. And this was the greatest surprise because in the book only the approach was featured and here now you had other gardens. Yeah, I searched the plum grove, which was written about in the book, and I couldn't find it. Yeah, and then I walked further to explore these new dry landscape gardens. I didn't knew about them because, yeah, you couldn't see them in the book, of course, because it was a book about Shumyu Masuno, and also not on the web page. So these gardens must be quite new and I found the temple. They couldn't tell me exactly when they were built, um, but they said that probably just a local gardener was called to create these gardens and I do not know who. Maybe later I can find out. Here and here you have a uh, pine tree and also plum trees. Well, I'm not sure if they mistaken it with this pine or not. Looking at the bamboo fencing, you can say that um, this garden must be over five years old already. I believe that this pi uh, pine tree and the plum trees are already older, that they existed really long before the other gardens. But here you see that the fencing is also very um, old and worn down. And usually a bamboo fence lasts for five years or longer. So it's a very modern design with the kind of stones they used these long um, bars of stone, no natural shape, and also this very flat one in front. This is so modern.
So I hope you liked the small show around and see you next time.